RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Western Canadian Dairy Seminar is brought to you by Alberta Milk. Basically, precision dairy farming to me is using technologies to monitor the cow. We're monitoring physiology, behavior, and production. Uh, so with frequent measurements of things that we would like to, to know about the cows that we work with. Well, in, improved heat detection rates, mastitis detection, for example, being able to intervene sooner, have a better um, uh, response to treatments, uh, reduce the, the cows that are cold from metabolic problems because we catch them sooner when we can go in and do something about it, being able to pick up on lame cows in, in a timely manner so that we can go in and, and intervene and help them. Those are the benefits and uh, those are sometimes a little bit hard to quantify from an economic perspective. We're working on that also, uh, but everybody can understand the value of having fewer problem cows. Well, I think the biggest benefits are improved animal health, improved animal well-being, and improved reproductive performance. And I also think there's potential to make the life a little easier for the dairy producer because these tags and technologies can watch the cow 24 hours a day, uh, watch every cow 24 hours a day. And a farmer, no farmer has time to sit there and watch cows that much. So it takes a little bit off of their minds, a little bit off of their plates. To me, it has to be something that's useful, that it has a biological meaning, that we can do something with the information. It has to be uh, cost effective for the dairy producer to invest in. That's probably one of the most important points. It has to be easy to use. It has to be reliable. If we're going to have the technology, it has to give us data on a regular basis, not intermittently. Um, and uh, it has to be something that, that the farmer can learn how to use and incorporate into the way that they, they do things. Yeah, that's probably the most important point of the whole technology discussion is that the people that are going to benefit the most from working with these precision dairy farming technologies are the ones that, that understand the cow and they can use the information to better manage the cow. The farmers that maybe look at this as a way of, of taking the place of something that they don't want to do are probably going to struggle to reap the full benefits. It takes good cow sense to interpret the data from these technologies. Well, I think, you know, obviously one of the biggest limitations is, is, is dollars uh, or money because uh, everybody only has a limited set of resources to invest in things on the dairy farm and being able to, to, to decide what technologies make the most economic sense and will reap uh, a, a good benefit to cost ratio, uh, that's probably one of the biggest limitations. And then um, being able to understand of, of so many options out there, what's the best one for, for your farm? And then that's an individual decision, but there's a lot of information out there just in choosing what technology to purchase if you wanted to purchase the technology. Well, that's certainly, it's, it's just an overall information overload and understanding what should I invest in and then once I do, how do I use that information. It's really exciting though to think about what, what the potential is. Well, I think a lot of the things with heat detection are really exciting. Uh, being able to, to focus more on, on using a technology to determine when to breed cows. Uh, I think the opportunities to monitor things like feed intake, to monitor somatic cell count in line so that we know exactly what's going on from a mastitis perspective with our cows every day. Uh, the rumination monitoring, uh, the lameness monitoring, there's, there's a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Yeah.